Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I bet you're wondering why I've done a video on a Monday instead of a Tuesday, and also this week on a Wednesday, and I'm also going to be doing one on Friday. Well, the simple answer is there is a piece of software that has been updated, and the release date is today, and I am so excited to bring it to you as part of our recording series for guitarists, because this piece of software definitely is one that I use all the time, and I know you're going to love. Coming right up. Yeah, so when I went to TGU 2019, I met my good friend Jürgen, who showed me the Spire Studio, but also working for Isotope, he showed me RX7. Well, today, the 2nd of September 2020, Isotope have updated to RX8, and boy, oh boy, have there been some improvements. A big thanks to Dave Godolski from Isotope for letting me have a bit of a preview for a few days before this came out. And man, are the improvements awesome. So these improvements are not just for studio use, but especially for guitar. RX7 and now RX8 are industry leading audio editors. What's more, they come with advanced machine learning. This means that they automatically diagnose and repair all sorts of audio issues with your audio files. Stuff such as hum, clicks, pops, crackles, hiss, and any unwanted background noise that you can think of. The software also does a rebalance of mixed tracks, meaning that you can adjust audio levels for vocals, for bass, for drums, and for guitar or keyboards and the like separately after they've been mixed down to mastered. This has been a particularly useful feature for me because my daughters both love to sing with karaoke tracks and when I haven't been able to find the karaoke track, I've been able to use the RX7 software in the past to just completely remove the vocal really, really effectively, leaving a totally clean backing track. But that feature has been expanded as well with this latest RX8 update. A really useful feature that they've updated as well is the bulk processing feature. Now, when I do movie work and I've got rushes separate from all of the audio tracks recorded, I can process all of the audio in one go with one process rather than having to go through each individual file. And when you're doing a movie, that could be thousands. Now both RX7 and now RX8 as well work as standalone interfaces that you can use to manipulate your audio or they will work as a plugin for your door digital audio workstation of choice. So let's talk about the new features on RX8 as opposed to RX7. Well one of the biggest ones is for guitar and that is the guitar denoise. It helps to eliminate amp hum, fret squeaks and scrapes, and as well as transient pick sounds. So it gives you a lot of fine tuning control over your guitar audio, which is great for us guitarists. We've also talked about the batch processing, but they now also have a spectral recovery. Now this is a system that works with the advanced machine learning to work out the high frequencies and the high mid frequencies that are often lost and very, very badly compressed with audio that's processed online, such as YouTube videos or podcasts. And it allows you to rescue those highs and those high mids to make a really naturally sounding recording back from a damaged recording. There's also a loudness control, which is brand new, and that almost works like mastering software to give you clarity and fullness in your broadcast mix. And finally, the music rebalance has been updated and improved so that now you don't have to just process the whole track, you can process and separate key features such as vocal, drums, bass, and other instruments like guitar or piano or keyboards which means that effectively you can output the stems now of a pre-mastered track of your choice. So if you fancy having a go at being a bit of a Rick Beato and listening to the separate stems of music that you love, then 
This software will do that for you. Today we're just going to try two of the new features and that is the key ones for us as guitar players which is the guitar denoise. So first things first, I'm playing this chord and you're going to hear it before the sound test especially for this video today and I'm just going to record a little bit of the noise that comes out of these pickups when played through the Marshall Lead 12. I'm just using the Sennheiser E906 and I'm going into my Zoom H4 recorder and we've just got a distorted tone so that this amp does give us some hum and then we can hear how that is cancelled by the software. Here's a little example of a couple of chords with the hum removed and without. <laughs> Okay, so here what I'm doing is I'm selecting a piece of the audio where the hum is and then I'm getting it to machine learn so that it hears that sound. Now I'm selecting half of the phrase in order to apply that and we'll just quickly preview that. all that hum's gone so now we can render that out that section so now we've got half with and half without so I'll just select all of the audio half with the noise and half without and let's have a listen So as you can hear, the difference is quite stark and it will remove all of the hum and all of the noise that you don't want. But we're going to also try it on an acoustic guitar mic'd up today. So let's go and have a listen to that. Okay, in order to record this Harley Benton, beautiful Harley Benton acoustic, I'm taking a direct out into the Zoom H4n and I've also got this Sennheiser 8060 pointed at the 12th fret and what we're going to try to do with the acoustic is remove the fret scrape noise so let's try this out okay so what I'm doing here I've imported the file and we'll just have a quick listen to the whole thing uh, without doing any processing clearly hear those scrapes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and pick out Acoustic Guitar Tamer which should sort that issue out. Let's have a preview. Wow, all of those scrapes. Pretty much all of those scrapes gone now so we'll render that out and then we'll compare. So be sure to let me know what you think of the software removal of those fret scratches. Okay, so I think you can hear just how effective this new RX8 software is. I really hope that you found this video useful and that you would find the RX8 software useful as much as I do. I use it all the time to rescue the voice on recordings I do at things like guitar shows where there's a lot of noise in the background and I use it to remove that. I've also used it to remove hum on instruments like the Ortega little mini bass which doesn't have metal strings so when you touch the strings it doesn't earth out and so you end up with quite a bit of hum and I've used it to reduce that in the past. I've even used the feature where you can remove distortion from an over hot signal on some of my audio tracks as well. So this software really does 
cover a multitude of sins and rescue your audio. So it's well worth checking out. Let me know as always in the comments down below what you think of this, what I call magic software. And uh, I'll be really keen to read what you've got to say. As always, if you have enjoyed this video and found it useful, please don't forget to give it a like with a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, it really can't hurt. And if you do, don't forget to click that bell icon and then you'll be notified every time I make an upload, which unusually this week is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but usually is just Tuesdays and Fridays and streaming Sundays. I'll be back really soon with the best content I can, but as always, my friends, you take good care. Mm -hmm.